Washington was the first state to have the first case of COVID-19 in the continental United States. So when other states and other communities across the country were still thinking about it, learning about it, trying to figure out how they were going to plan for it, Washington was having to respond. We were ground zero, and it was a very scary time. We didn't know very much about this novel virus, and it was spreading quickly here in Washington and throughout the U.S. Public health had been underfunded for many, many years, and we did not have the latest tools and technologies that we needed to provide systems and solutions for the public, for decision makers, and for our epidemiologists. Prior to the pandemic, our lab in Shoreline was very effective. It was one of the best in the country, but it still was strained by doing a lot of manual processes, not having all the state-of-the-art technologies. We were receiving biological samples from providers via the mail or delivery service, and it was a box that would come in with that swab in it and a piece of paper that the submitter had had to fill out and insert in that box and then have delivered to the public health lab. So before the lab test can even be run, someone has to manually read these sheets and re-enter them into another system, which if you're doing hundreds to you know, thousands of those at a time, that's a lot of manual work to, have to try to have to do. When you have a test, that actually opens up a whole community of activities that happen in that public health system from the laboratory all the way to the epidemiology and the investigation, and then ultimately contact tracing, which is who else has been exposed to that individual who is now tested positive, and then how do we interrupt further transmission in the community so we can protect others. We were doing everything that we could at that time to keep our legacy system humming. But that system was never designed to accept the volume of test results that we were receiving as a result of COVID. And it overwhelmed our system. Very shortly, it brought our disease reporting system to its knees. The sources of the data are coming from everywhere. There wasn't a one central place where we can pull the data or where we can share the data to publish. Microsoft heard about this and they reached out because we were partnering with them on some other solutions and they asked how they could help. The solution that Microsoft helped us develop allowed us to essentially now create a QR code in place of that paper form. So you cut out that entire manual data entry process. We was able to scan the QR code, allowing submitters to submit data online, and we was able to scan the QR code to transfer data directly into our LIM system. Transparency is our currency. We must be trusted. At the end of the day, what information we put out to our partners or to the media or to the community must be both authentic, but it has to be accurate. We quickly realized that we needed to come up with an automated way to surface that data into a dashboard for folks to reference on demand. The Microsoft AI for Health team, they brought in architects and engineers and a toolkit that included Dynamics so that we could leverage the Power Platform, Power Apps, and we created COVID-19 dashboards on our website that have won awards and they're some of the best in the world. The COVID dashboard was, uh, to me, just this landmark milestone for public health. What it meant was that in one place, you had a summation of a lot of information that took laboratory information, what was happening in the community, what our partners and our community members needed, and you put it all together so we could make decisions and ultimately we could protect people. I'm excited, looking forward, coming out of COVID-19. I think it has certainly challenged us as an organization, as a public state health department, but the tools that we have now, the knowledge that we have, the investment that we've made in the cloud, those technologies are gonna serve us well into the future, and I'm excited that we do have a future. We are resilient, and as a result of the sacrifice everybody has put in supporting the work on this pandemic, my team, our private partners, and everyone else masking up, staying home, we're gonna come out of this stronger and more prepared.